Standing on the edge of a transportation revolution is the lovely nation called the Philippines. For a long time, the country's been plagued by little to no connectivity, insufficient infrastructure, and traffic jams. Now, the Philippines has set out to establish several pioneering megastructures built to launch the nation into the future. In today's video, we'll look at some of the most ambitious initiative projects the Philippines has ever embarked upon. We'll discuss their ability to change the country's economic status, improve its citizens' standard of living, and increase connectivity as we've never seen before. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more exciting videos. All right, let's get started. The Philippines struggled for decades with a bus and jeepney heavy transportation infrastructure. Despite their historic significance, these classic cars were frequently jammed into small spaces, lacked efficiency, and significantly increased air pollution. Seeing the need for a more sustainable and effective transportation system, the government had started a bold initiative to update and develop the nation's rail network. The initiative centerpiece is the North-South Commuter Railway, or NSCR project, a considerable effort that promises to improve commuting throughout the Greater Manila area. This rail line, which will span 35 stations and be 148 kilometers long, will link Tutuban in Manila to Malolos in Bulacan in the north, Clark International Airport in Pampanga, and Calamba in Laguna in the south. Now, the benefits of the NSCR will go well beyond short travel times. Millions of jobs will likely be created during construction and operation, boosting the local economy and raising the living standards for the millions of people who depend on public transit daily. By reducing air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions from conventional forms of transportation, the initiative will also help create a cleaner environment. The NSCR is merely a single element of the bigger picture. The government is actively pursuing other important railway projects. These are the Mindanao Railway Project, the Bicol South Line Extension of Philippine National Railways, and the Metro Rail Transit Line 4 Extension. These efforts will significantly improve connectivity throughout the nation creating new avenues for social and economic advancement. The Philippines is using cutting-edge technologies and constructing additional tracks to improve its railway infrastructure. Its government is implementing initiatives like the Intelligent Train Management System and the Automatic Train Control System to enhance passenger experience, safety, and efficiency. To further lessen its influence on the environment, the government is also considering using renewable energy sources and electric trains to power its railways. The modernization of the Philippine railway system is a watershed moment for the country's history. The Philippines is creating a future-oriented transportation network by embracing innovation, prioritizing sustainability, and establishing connections between towns throughout the archipelago. A period of increased economic prosperity, better living standards, and a more sustainable future for future generations are all expected to come with this railway renaissance. The Philippines is ready to occupy its rightful position as one of the top countries in the world for cutting-edge, adequate rail transportation as the lines are completed and the trains start to move. The long history of transportation issues in the Philippines primarily results from outdated and inadequate road infrastructure. After years of disregard and little funding, the network was full of holes, congested areas, and poor connectivity. The Luzon Spine Expressway Network, or LSEN, represents the Philippines' dedication to constructing present-day infrastructure. When finished, this 630-kilometer-long road will link Metro Manila with Luzon Island's northernmost tip, establishing a smooth pathway for business activity. Eleven components comprise the project. Some are functioning, and others are present during construction. The LSEN will shorten travel times between Luzon's main cities by avoiding crowded city centers and current highways, for instance, the 12-hour journey time between Manila and Lawag City is anticipated to be half to just six hours. Businesses and entrepreneurs around the region will have access to new economic opportunities, thanks to the LSEN. Enhanced accessibility is expected to draw investments, promote trade, and ease the transportation of products and services. The LSEN will also make tourist attractions more accessible, encouraging tourism growth and supporting economic development. Thousands of jobs in the engineering, construction, logistics, and tourism industries will be generated by the building and operation of the LSEN. The Philippines' economy will continue to thrive as a result of this boost to economic activity. Another significant infrastructure undertaking that attempts to change the nation's transportation environment is the Pan-Philippine Highway, or the PPH. With a total length of more than 3,500 kilometers, 
This enormous project aims to build paved roads connecting all of the archipelago's major islands. Despite decades of development, the PPH has advanced significantly in recent years, with several portions already finished. By acting as a critical conduit between the nation's islands, the PPH will make traveling throughout the archipelago easier for people and products. This will boost national cohesion, encourage regional development, and enhance trade and commerce. Businesses will see a major drop in logistics expenses due to the enhanced connectivity, making shipping goods between islands easier and more economical. As a result, Filipino companies will become more competitive in the international market. The PPH will also encourage economic growth and generate new businesses and community prospects by granting access to previously unreachable locations. The road network in the Philippines is being modernized in ways other than only the physical infrastructure. The government is also investigating the possibility of integrating Intelligent Transportation Systems, or ITS, to enhance overall driver experience, optimize traffic flow, and increase safety. Traffic management systems reduce travel times and congestion by managing traffic flow more effectively through real-time data and analytics. To maximize traffic flow and reduce delays, intelligent traffic signals modify their timing in response to current traffic circumstances. The Philippines' road network upgrade significantly advances the nation's infrastructure development. Millions of Filipinos' lives could be improved, new paths for economic development could be opened, and communities could be connected like never before, thanks to the ELSEN. PPH, and other projects. As these initiatives advance, the Philippines is laying the groundwork for a better future powered by adequate and sustainable transportation. The Philippine transportation system is undergoing a revolution rather than just evolution. The government is intensively investigating modern technology like intelligent transportation networks and electric cars these developments have enormous potential to lower emissions, improve traffic flow, and improve passenger comfort. Creating smart cities like New Clark City demonstrates the nation's dedication to adopting sustainable and forward-thinking transportation solutions. Globally, electric vehicles, or EVs, are becoming increasingly popular, which is also true in the Philippines. With a range of incentives, such as tax cuts and subsidies, the government is aggressively encouraging the use of electric vehicles. Developing more reasonably priced electric vehicles, or EVs, and charging systems will soon provide Filipinos access to more environmentally friendly and sustainable transportation. Another game-changing technology that has the potential to change Philippine transportation entirely is intelligent transportation systems. These technologies enhance traffic flow, lessen congestion, and increase safety by utilizing real-time data and sophisticated analytics. Intelligent traffic systems applications include connected car technologies, intelligent parking management systems, and dynamic traffic signals. The government can build a more effective and user-friendly transportation network for all Filipinos by implementing ITS. Urban development that is both sustainable and future-proof is being modeled after smart cities. The first smart city in the Philippines is New Clark City, in the province of Pampanga. It has cutting-edge facilities, green areas, and intelligent technology that support livability, sustainability, and economic expansion. New Clark City is a model city for the future Philippines, showing how technology may be used to build prosperous neighborhoods with effective transit systems. Even though these innovations are still in their infancy, they provide a peek into when everyone in the Philippines will have access to faster, greener, and more accessible transportation. The Philippines is positioned to take the lead in developing transportation technology by embracing innovation and investing in state-of-the-art equipment. This will not only make life better for its people, but it'll also serve as an example for other nations worldwide. Thanks for staying tuned. Don't forget to like the video and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.